Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a sticky category menu to your blog templates in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So in this tutorial, let's start by creating our categories. So to do that, you want to hover over where it says posts, click on categories, and this is where you want to add all your categories. Adding a category is very straightforward. All you have to do is to give it a name. So I'm just going to call this one here Mac. And the slug is going to be Mac as well. And then click on Add to Category. So now uh, this gets added to the category. And at any point, you can also delete this at any time. All right. So that's step number one. Add your categories first. Next, you're going to also need the posts that go to each of these categories. So you do need to create your posts ahead of time so that when you take a look at these categories, you will see the posts under those categories. And to add your posts, you come over here to all posts. And as you can see, here's a list of all my posts. And you can now assign them to the categories that we've just created. So let's say, for example, you want to assign this one here to a category. I'm just going to click here on quick edit. And then over here, I can choose the category. So let's say this one here is going to be coaching, click on update. And now that has been assigned to the coaching category, and so on. So let's say this one here, we're going to assign it to, let's say work. So that's what you do. Click on update. And that's how you assign your post to the different categories. All right, so now that, that this is done, uh, I'm going to leave a link in the um, video description below, which gives you, which takes you to a blog post, which has the template that we're going to be using in this tutorial. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded the template. So once you've downloaded the template, what you need to do is to come over here to Divi, then Builder. So we need to install this template now. So as you can see here, I've got nothing going on here. So I'm going to click here on portability, click on import. And now I'm going to drag those files. So let me just show you quickly where they are. So this is how the folder looks like. So it's going to have um, all these all these templates in the pack. In fact, it's this one here, DV Thin Builder uh, Pack 6.2. Right, so this is the one. So the one that we need to install is this one here, which says DV Theme Builder Pack 6 All. So this has everything that we need to uh, for this tutorial. So I'm going to drag it over here like that. And because I don't have anything going on here, I, I don't mind overriding things and I don't have to download a backup. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Import Builder. Um, so now it's going to start importing. Great. So everything has been imported now. That's looking great. I'm going to click on Save Changes. So what I'm going to do next is create our menu. So I'm going to come over here to our settings. In fact, we need to come to appearance and then click on menus. So by default, in, in most cases, normally you just have the menu that is for your main primary menu. So what we're going to do now is to create a new menu, which is a category menu based on those categories that we created earlier on. So if I click here on this drop down. I'm going to select my category here, category menu. That's the type of menu that I want to create. And then over here, you can give it a name. So in fact, before you give it a name here, you want to click on select, right? Or you can click on create new if you don't already have it. So here I've given it a name. Um, it's called category menu. And this is where now you want to add your categories over here. So these ones here need to go because that, that's not uh, how it's supposed to be done here. We need to add the categories. So in your case, you won't have to remove these because you won't have them in the first place. All right, so I'm just getting rid of all these pages. Right, so to add your categories here, what you need to do is to come over here to categories, click on the drop down, and these are the categories. I'm going to click on view all, and then I'm just going to select them all, add to menu, so now all my categories are now added to my menu. And then all we have to do here is to click on Save Menu. Right, so now let's go to our Theme Builder. So I'm going to come over here, click on Theme Builder. And where we need to go is All Posts. So for now, all these that say Not Assigned, I'm just going to delete them because uh, they're just taking away too much space. All right, so this is where we need to go. I'm going to click here on this gear icon, click on Edit. Next, we're going to add a new section above this main content here. So to do that, 
I'm just going to come over here. In fact, you know what? I'm going to click these three little dots, expand settings, and then I'm going to come over here to my wireframe view and uh, click on this plus button here to add my new section. Uh, I'm just going to go with the regular single column. And then I'm just going to close this for now. And now I can drag this above everything. All right. So now that it's above everything else, we need to go in and uh, make further customizations to it. So I'm just going to go into my section settings here. Now I prefer seeing what I'm uh, actually editing. So I'm going to switch back over here to the desktop mode. And let's head over here to our background and add our background color by clicking on this plus button. So I'm going to paste my color in here. But um, of course, if you want to use the exact same colors that I'm using, I'll give you I'll give you a link to the post in the show notes below. All right. So now that I've added that, the next thing I'm going to do is to add some padding to my section. So I'm going to come over here on design, spacing, and then over here on the padding, I'm just going to add one VW to the top and the bottom. I'm going to save it for now. Next, I'm going to go into my row settings. And in my row settings, I also need to add some colors for my gradient. So I'm going to click here on background. And then I'm going to click here on the second tab to add my gradient. Click on this plus button and then add my first color. I want to add my second color. And next, I need to change my gradient direction. So currently it's at 180. We need this at 90 degrees. Okay, so that's looking much better. Next, let's um, stylize this as well. So we're going to come over here to design. So the first thing we're going to do here is to remove some padding. So I'm going to click here on spacing and add zero to the top and the bottom. And then we're going to give some rounded corners by coming over here to border. And um, the size of my rounded corners here is going to be 20 pixels. And this can be applied all around. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that. And now it's applied to all the sides. So now that I've added this, I'm going to save. And then the next stage now is to add my menu. So I'm going to click on this plus button, search for my menu module. I'm going to select it. Now, here's the most important part. Do you see here where it says menu? This is pretty much taking our main menu of our website, but we want the category menu that we just created. And if I click on this drop down, we can see it's right here. So it's going to pull all those categories that we added to it. And here they are, business, coaching, money, news, and work. But the problem here is uh, it has a white background. So we also need to get rid of that background. So to do that, we're going to come over here to background and I'm just going to add transparency or you can just delete it here. Now let's go ahead and stylize this. So first of all, I'm going to come over here to design layout. So we're going to center this and we also need to uh, choose our menu font here. So I'm going to come over here to menu text and change our font here to Ubuntu. I'm going to select it. And for our weight here, let's set it to bold. We're going to capitalize it. And we're going to make it white. Now let's head over here to the menu, letter spacing, set this to 2. And the line height is going to be 2 EM. Now while we're here, we might as well uh, add our drop down menu color. So I'm going to click here on drop down. And the color here is going to be white. And then for our menu line color, we are going to click here on the eyedropper tool and paste our color in here. Right, so the next stage now is to make the section containing the menu sticky. Now for this, we're going to need a bit of CSS code. So I'm going to leave this in the link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so come back over here and I'm gonna click here on my gear icon for my menu settings, click on advanced. And the code needs to go in the main element. So I'm going to come over here to custom CSS and paste my code here in the main element. So what we can do here is we can also duplicate this to, to create the bottom sticky menu as well. So I'm going to duplicate it here. So this sticky menu here is going to be for the bottom. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do something a bit different. We're going to go into the section settings click on advanced, custom CSS. And this time we're going to add some CSS um, that shows when we when people visit this website from a tablet. So I'm going to come over here 
on tablet and add my CSS code in here like that. Next, we're also going to add some CSS code. So I'm gonna come over here to custom CSS. Now this CSS code is to add a menu label. So I'm gonna paste the CSS code here. And as I mentioned before, this code can be found in the post which I'll link to in the show notes below. So since this one here is gonna be our footer, so I'm just gonna drag this all the way down to the bottom. But to make it easy for me, I'm just gonna come over here to my wireframe mode and then just drag this all the way down. I'm gonna switch back to the front. And there we go, it's right there at the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna save this for now. So the next thing we need to do is um, to avoid overcrowding this area here, we're going to hide uh, this menu on uh, mobile devices. So I'm gonna come over here to my section settings, click advanced, visibility, and here we're going to disable it on the phone and tablet. Let's save. So now that we've finished designing this, you may want to add this to different templates on your website. And the easiest way to do it is to just come over here, click on this little drop down, save the menu. So we can call this category menu and we can save this to the library. So I'm gonna click here on save to library. So in the future, I may want to use this on other page templates so I can just get it from the library. Now let's take a look at this and see if this is going to work for us. So I'm gonna save this page, close it here, save changes. And now I'm just gonna go to a post which I've created before. So go ahead and view. And there we go. So now we have our category menu right here. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, we also have this menu here. So now if I click any of these categories, it's going to take us to the category page. So let's say I go to news, it's gonna show everything under the news category. So as I mentioned before, let's say you want to add the same menu onto this category page template. All you have to do is to grab it, grab it from the library and just add it here as well, because we've already added it to the library. So pretty much this is how uh, it looks. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.